Hello everyone, Nat Meg here. It is Monday, February 19th, 2024. I am just enjoying holiday Monday on my contemplation log. It's quite nice. It's sunny, but cold, but reasonable. And today on my contemplation, I was just thinking a little bit about the lightworkers journey and specifically about the part of the journey we seldom talk about, which is the isolation part of the journey. Um, <clears throat> we all go through this part where we have to go into a little cavern, both often in the physical realm, we physically isolate from our loved ones. Um, but also on a mental and spiritual realm where the light worker has to go within and deal with all the shadow work and it's a very uncomfortable time and it can be, feel very isolating so like if we considered each of these tree trunks planted into the earth are different light workers all of them in the same forest but, but experiencing earth in their own individual ways. Um, so on the surface, it seems very, very isolating. Um, but what's happening, of course, underneath is there's a root system that's creating um, a network um, that's going to make the entire system sustainable as much as possible. I mean, some trees will obviously go down, but um, anyways, my point about the isolation portion of the journey and having to do the deep shadow work, which is very, very uncomfortable, um, is just the idea that I think of it very much in a physics equation. When you have to go through those very deep, dark emotions that often um, are things like anger, grief, depression, you really have to feel the emotions of trauma that you may not have allowed yourself to feel in its order in order for it to escape your body your mental space your spirit energy um and it's really really hard sorry i had to pause there because people were walking by so what I was saying about the negative emotions that we have to go through in basic laws of physics, I'm going to put it in terms of, say you're shooting a bow and arrow, and the part where you're feeling the negative emotions is when you pull your arm back in order to release the arrow. So you do go into like a negative frequency for a little bit, it's very, very isolating. But what's actually happening is once you release from those very negative emotions, it helps you to elevate to higher frequencies. So we often in our world overlook, overlook what emotions can do for us, but we always focus on the mental aspect. But if we think about the word emotion, the base of the word um, uh, emotion is motion. And what it does is gives the fire to our thoughts. You need both thoughts and emotion in order to create things. So even though that part of the light worker's journey where you're feeling very isolated, you no longer vibe with the people around you, you feel just like you're one individual dealing with your shadow self in the ground as you go through this journey eventually your roots kind of reach out as you grow and grow and grow and you realize that what your existence does is help the existence of the ecosystem or the system as a whole and i just i was thinking about this and then i noticed with this tree here that i just kept on looking at and it's just very interesting so we've got the tree trunk you go through this isolation period and once you release all of the trauma and the mask of the ego self you kind of raise your frequency and then you're two and you keep growing and raise your frequency and now you're three and then if you keep looking there's a, it splits again frequency of fourth and let's see if I can get 
ball five. So you get up to the fifth frequency and that's kind of how you make it but when you first start out it can be a rather lonesome time and I don't know I don't know why I was thinking about that today I just feel maybe somebody needed to hear that um, in hindsight what you see in that isolation journey is that you learn how to be friends with yourself. I love that saying, it really helped me a lot. You're never alone in this life if you learn how to be friends with yourself. It's also a time where you go within and develop a relationship with your guides and source that you didn't have before. And so there's a lot of gifts in the isolation period. So if you're going through that right now, cause it's winter season and we're coming out of Aquarius season where you know, part of the journey is going through the shadow aspect and part of the Aquarius aspect is you realize how different you are from everyone else and it only makes you want to isolate even more. Um, you know, just go with the flow, whatever that is. But remember, it's all kind of happening for a reason. And even the isolation period is a great gift on the Lightworkers journey. So I wish you all the best if you're going through that. It's part of the journey. <laughs> um, that make here. I love you, my fellow nuts. Have a great day. Great week if I don't speak to you.